Are you guys still interested in Kevin Costner's divorce saga? I know that many of you are solely interested in him for his career, but I argue that his personal life has had an immense impact on his career. In fact, I believe one of the main reasons why he left Yellowstone is the fact that he didn't want to seem to have a large amount of income to avoid excessive childcare payments. This is why, once again, I'm here to discuss with you guys the most recent developments in the famous actor's dramatic divorce. If you have missed out on what has happened so far, you can check my previous videos from the link in the upright corner. So, without further ado, let's dive into the video and see what Costner has been up to recently. The past weekend was a busy one for Costner, his now estranged wife Christine Baumgartner, as they have been publicly seen together for the first time since their divorce announcement. The two were spotted in Santa Barbara, where they reside, heading into the same wall office, marking their ongoing efforts to navigate their divorce proceedings. The couple was stylish as usual, with Costner going for the classic look of a white button-down shirt paired with off-white trousers and, of course, white sneakers. Christine, on the other hand, was seen wearing a red ribbed t-shirt, black trousers with a delicate studded belt, along with a black Bottega Veneta tote bag. And if you guys are curious, that bag is $4,214. Why am I mentioning how they look like and what they were wearing? Well, because I'm pretty sure that they knew they were going to be spotted by the cameras, and thus they specifically dressed for the occasion. I'm not sure why would they want to be seen publicly during the divorce process, but I suspect Costner might be the one who arranged the cameras to prove that there is no bad blood between the two despite the divorce. Another reason why I mention the clothing and particularly reveal the price of the bag is the fact that money has been a massive issue during this divorce proceedings, as Baumgartner famously didn't get what she wanted from Costner. At least, this is what seems to be the issue so far. We know that the process is far from being finalized as of today. We still have a trial upcoming during which the legitimacy of their prenuptial agreement will be contested. According to Christine, the prenup should not be valid. According to Costner, she is using stalling tactics by contesting the prenup. Costner's team argues that Christine doesn't fully comprehend the prenup's terms and thus deliberately tries to prolong the divorce process. Christine, however, claims that she felt compelled to sign the agreement at the time, while Costner's team insists that she signed the deal willingly. They even stated that Christine's arguments contradicts the unambiguous language in the PMA wherein Christine represented in all caps that she voluntarily and free from duress, fraud, or undue influence entered into the agreement. The upcoming trial will inevitably have financial consequences for whoever loses it. Under the prenuptial agreement's terms, Christine is entitled to a $1.5 million payout. However, by challenging the prenup's validity, she could potentially forfeit this payout. Furthermore, the prenup stipulates that in case either party seeks legal representation to enforce or breach the agreement, which is currently the situation, the party that prevails will be reimbursed for the legal expenses incurred by the other party. So Christine is at more risk when it comes to financial consequences, but I feel like she has a pretty powerful legal team who are probably very good at calculating risks on her part. Thus, I don't think she would have entered this battle unless she had some evidence that she was pretty confident about. It's clear that the result of the trial will have some consequences on Costner's career, as well since he left Yellowstone his main income source and invested millions in his new project Horizon. Therefore, losing to Christine might cause him to want to return to Yellowstone since he might need the money. Who do you think will win this divorce battle? Do you think this process had any concrete impacts on Costner's career choices? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.